Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a super fun video. I will be showing my entire K-pop photo card collection, going through all of my binders, and I plan on doing these every six months. My very first video is actually my photo card collection, which I filmed in, I believe, November. Um, of 2020, which is super fun. I actually looked back at that video recently to see how my collection has changed, and it has quite a bit. So I really like doing these types of videos to kind of look back on, and in six months when I do another one, I'll look back on this one. But yes, currently I have three binders, and I will have all of the like timestamps either like on the actual video in the description or in the comments below, but I promise that I will put that for you all um, if you want to skip around and see which group specifically. But yes, so the first binder I'm going to go through is my Chan binder. So this is my only binder that I have for one specific idol. So Chan is my alt bias. So I do collect absolutely everything I can for her besides larger inclusions. There are a few exceptions to that, such as like broadcast photo cards or just super duper rare photo cards that I don't need to be stressing out about. And that is completely fine. But let's get right into it. So on this first page, we have colorized and heart eyes. So we have her colorized solo cards and then her and then her colorized units and then her heart eyes photo cards. And now on this page starts bloom eyes. So this is one of the versions and then the next version and then the final version. And then this is when I write diary. Oh my God, I literally love these photo cards. And then for one reeler, since it was their last um, comeback, I decided to collect my top three, which was Sakura and Yujin. So this is scene one, scene two, and scene three. And then here are some of the more special photo cards for the era. So these are just the regular pre-order photo cards. And then this is the fan sign, I think three and fan sign two. For fan sign one, they didn't do a photo card set, but this one is my favorite, which is why it is in the middle. All right, so now we get into some of her like non-album trading card, Japanese photo cards. So this is her Suki 2 Owasi Tai trading card set. And then her first fan meet in Japan trading card set. Her uh, which one was the Buenos Aires trading card set? Sorry about that. This is the Eyes on Me concert trading card set. The Vampire trading card set. Oh my god, this one is so gorgeous. This is the Wanairic Theater trading card set. And since there are 11 cards, I put two here. And then the 12 trading card set. I am still missing one, but I have the other three. And then this one is definitely my favorite trading card set, especially because of these cards. These are the one, the story trading card set. And once again, there are 11 cards, so I put two there. So now we get into the more specific Chan Nan album, so I will go through them all. So this is her school looks photo card. These are her colorized Kino cards, her secret time photo card, her heart eyes pop-up photo cards, her heart eyes Kino photo cards, her first fan kit photo card and now moving on to the little eyes on me concert section this is her eyes on me slogan her eyes on me polaroid her eyes on me sticker holographic photo card and then her two eyes on me concert uh these were like limited edition photo cards i guess um and now we move on to her secret diary photo cards so these three and then her id from secret diary and then this is from the Wanairic Diary Fan Sign A and Wanairic Diary Fan Sign B. This is the Eyes On Me movie photo card, her second fan kit photo card, a Daikon magazine photo card, and then for Wanairic Theater, I'm missing her cash B, but I have the other photo cards. This is her ticket photo card. This is from the first round of pre-orders from Wit Drama, these two. And then these two are from the second round of pre-orders. And I forget which ones these ones are from, but like the more merch side of it. So like the random cards from either the um, like t-shirt or the like eco bag, I think it's called, or the like pop socket thing. Um, and then this is her, was this, yes, Eyes on Me, either Blu-ray or DVD. These are the two Blu-ray and DVD cards. I forget which one is which, but this one is a lenticular, which is super cute. 
I don't know if it's showing up in the video, but yeah. And then this is her Eyes on Me Kino card. And then this is her Daikon Magazine Japan Press photo card. And then this is her One Reeler with Drama Hollow card. So I didn't collect this one for Yujin or Sakura because it wasn't from like a fan sign that I applied for. Um, it was like an extra benefit, I guess. And now we move on to When I Rick theater so these are her when i Rick theater k-town for you pre-orders and then oh like when i Rick theater dvd and kino and then the when i Rick theater dvd and kino photo cards and then this is her surprise box photo card and then these two are from the one the story pre-order which these ones are also so pretty literally beret chan is so freaking cute i love it so much and then this is her cassette blossom photo card um, and then this is her Shall We Dance Daikon Magazine K-Town For You pre-order. And then we move on to this last page. And these are her Shall We Dance Daikon Magazine solo photo cards. And I don't have her group one yet from the group version. But um, once I do get it, I'm just going to put it on the back. And then these are from the Eyes On Me Japan like DVD movie. I don't know really how to explain it, but basically all the main um, Japanese shops did pre-orders and these are the pre-order photo cards for that. And now just some miscellaneous larger inclusions. Like I said, I don't collect um, larger inclusions for really anybody, but I will just go through what I have. So these are some larger inclusions from Run Re One Reeler. <laughs> and then just some larger inclusions from the Japanese albums. This is from the Daikon Magazine Japan version, from the One Eric Theater DVD and Kinos. And then I had to store these because these are so cute. These are from the Shall We Dance Daikon Magazine. These are the postcards and they are so gorgeous. I love them so much. And then some more random items. This is one of her Eyes on Me Polaroids. This is from the Hard Eyes Pop-Up and this is also from Cassette X Blossom, I believe it's called. And then here I just stored my favorite postcards from the Daikon magazine, the first one. And then this is her mini poster from the second fan clip kit. And then just some OT12 sets that I have. This set is in a really weird order, but I don't really know the order I was going for. I know I wanted Sakura and Yujin in the middle, but yes, this is from the Daikon magazine. And then Wan Young's and Yuri's are there. And then this is the pre-order photo card set from One Re One Reeler. Oh my goodness. And then this is my favorite fan sign set from One Reeler. So I just had to keep it because it is so gorgeous. And I love the outdoorsy vibe of it. It is so freaking stunning. But yes, that is everything for my Chan binder. This is definitely the collection that I guess like I put the most effort into because she is my all. So I really hope that I can try and meet her in a video call when she redebuts. But anyways, let's move on to my next album. This is definitely my thickest album. This is where I keep all of the groups that I collect fully for. And those groups are Itzy, Purple Kiss, Secret Number, and Espa. So they are all in here. So first we start with Itzy. So basically for Itzy, I collect OT5 for Not Shy Forward. And then for the first two eras, I just collected Cherry Young's photo card since she is my bias. And then one OT5 set. So here is the OT5 set I decided to collect for It's Icy. And then the rest of Cherry Young's photo cards. And also, I don't collect units for Itzy or any other group besides Chan. And then this is the OT5 set I decided to collect for It's Me. And I'm still missing Ryujin's, but I hope that I can get that soon. And then the remaining two photo cards of Cherry Young's. And now we move on to Not Shy, where I started to collect OT5. And I'm so happy with my OT5 collection so far. So this is the yellow set, the green set, and then the red set. And then these are just the units that I pulled, so I did keep them. And then this is the Sub K pre-order set from Not Shy. And then I actually managed to get into the video call, which was incredible. And I did win the winner's photo card set as well. And now we move on to Guess Who. So I am making progress with this collection, but I'm not complete with it yet. But this is the like glass orb, glass ball set. And then this is the caution tape set. And I'm just missing Yeji and Yuna's. 
And then this is the like yellow background set. And I am just missing Ryujin's. I do have Yuna's on the way. And then this is the lollipop set. And I do have this one complete and it is so freaking cute. I really love this set so much. And then the hidden card set. And I'm just missing Leah's and Yeji's. I do have Yuna's on the way. And then ignore that it says Fantine. I was originally going to collect one Fantine set, but since they did the limited edition, I decided to scrap that and just collect the limited edition cards. So I do have Leah's um, Cherry Young's and Yuna's is on the way. So I'm just missing Ryujin's and Yeji's. And then these are the non-random photo cards from the limited edition version. And now we move on to like my non-album section. I don't really collect non-album for Itzy, just whatever like I wind up getting but this is the fan first fan kit photo card set which is so pretty so I really wanted to keep the full set and now we move on to my pre-order or like fan sign page for Cherry Young so basically there's no like method to how I collect this it's just whatever I get but I really wanted to fill a page for not shy and guess who so I still want her my music taste one photo card from not shy, but I do not have it yet. But this is her My Music Taste 2 photo card and My Music Taste 3 photo card. Um, and then this is her With Drama Hollow photo card from Not Shy. And now moving on to Guess Who. This is her Sonara Clear pre order benefit, her With Drama Hollow pre order benefit, her Interpark pre order benefit. And then I do have her Soundwave 2 Fansign photo card on the way. And then I don't know if this will be the Aladdin photo card. I actually really want the With Drama 2 photo card because it is a selfie hollow photo card. And it is actually one of the most stunning photo cards I have ever seen in my entire life. And now my just little non-album page for Cherry Young. This is her light ring photo card, her light ring pop-up photo card. I still want her case photo card, but I do not have it yet. And then I don't collect No Bad Days, but I do have some of the photo cards from it. This is the Polaroid from January, the photo card from February, the regular photo card from March, I believe. And then this is her regular selfie and Polaroid photo card from May. And then I don't collect all the postcard sets, but here are some of them. And then some of the tattoos from Not Shy. I just kept the ones that I pulled. And then this is from No Bad Days. I believe this is February. And I still want to store Leah's and Yeji's, but I want to put like the, a piece of paper behind it. And then these are just the bigger inclusions from the fan club kit. And they are so pretty. I'm just sad that, like, they were all, like, connected in, like, an accordion style. And you had to, like, rip it. <laughs> but that's okay. And then these are the tickets from the first fan club kit. And then her It's Me postcard and her Not Shy postcard. So now we move on to my OT7 Purple Kiss collection, which are another one of my alt groups. I guess I should have said my alt groups. My alt groups are Eyes One, Itzy, Black Pink, Red Velvet, Purple Kiss, and Espa. I do alt six groups, and I love them so much. I do collect other groups as well, but those are my six alts. So this is the white set. This one is my favorite. And then the purple set. And then just some random OT7 fan sign sets that, that I decided to keep. This one is from Makestar, and this one is from My Music Taste. And then Gon is my bias, and she's actually one of my alts now. Um, but I don't, I want to collect all of her non album, but when it comes to pre order benefits, I'm just going to pick up the ones that I can. So these two are from MMT, and then this one is from DMC Music. And then just some miscellaneous other member photo cards that I have. This is from Make Star 2. And then these stickers. And I just managed to pull the full set, which is why I have all of them. And then for Espa, I plan on collecting OT4 for album photo cards, but obviously they don't have any album, like physical releases yet. But I do collect non album for Corinna and Giselle. So here is my Black Mamba non-album page. So these are Corinna's Lenticular and Hollow sets and Giselle's Lenticular and Hollow sets. And then Corinna's um, sticker photo card and Giselle's sticker photo card. And I am still missing their SM Global Shop pre-orders, but I'm sure I'm never going to find those because they go for ridiculous prices. But I'm just super happy that I have the photo cards that I do because all of these are really difficult to find now. 
but yes, now we move on to my Forever page. These are their Forever Cashbees, their Forever Hollows, and then the Forever Snow Globe Keychain Photo Cards, which are on the way um, from SM Town. They just haven't shipped yet. And then my Next Level page, which doesn't have anything on it because the pre-order just dropped like two days ago, I think, but I did order everything really quickly. I'm so happy I had my notifications on and I ordered it all super quickly, but the ring charm photo cards will go here, the hollow photo cards will go here, and then the magnet photo cards will go here. And then the standees come with the hollow cards, so I do have them for Corinna and Giselle. And then since I love the pictures of all the 4x6s, I also decided to collect the 4x6s for Espa. So these are the Black Mamba 4x6s. And I just put winters and ningnings on the other side and then the groups. And then kind of as a divider, I put the forever group 4x6 on this side. And then of course the forever 4x6s. And then I was really going back and forth with who I wanted to collect non-album wise originally for Espa. So I do have some non-album for Winter and Ning Ning as well. These are Winter's Black Mamba Hollow and Lenticular cards and her Black Mamba sticker photo card and then Ning Ning's Black Mamba sticker photo card. Um, so yes. And then even though Secret Number are not official alts, I love to, they are semi-alts and I do love to support them and they are not super duper hard to collect, but I love them so much. So I really wanted to try and collect OT5. Although if you have watched my videos in the past, I do take this collection quite slow, but it is up to date for now. So this is the first set for Who Dis and then her, and then their MMT photo card and then the other Who Dis set. And then the other MMT photo card. And now we move on to Got That Boom. So this is the first set, the second set, and the third set. And I did pre-order these from Market Shop. So this is the Market Shop um, fan sign photo card set. And then just some of the larger inclusions that I've pulled. So these are the ID postcards from Hoodis. And I'm just missing Denise's. And then I actually bought five albums for Hoodis and I managed to pull all of these standees and postcards, which is super cool. So I have a complete set for this. All right, so that is everything for this binder. And now we move on to my final binder, which is my like individual member binder. So the this is for the groups that I don't collect like full groups for and stuff like that. So we start with Jisoo. So for Jisoo, I collect album photo cards and select non-album. So we have Square Up and then Kill This Love. And then I just store this photo card here. This is from the Spring Collection just because I feel like it kind of goes with like the Polaroid vibe. And then how you like that. So I'm missing two how you like that photo cards. But I do have these two. And then these two also kind of fit with the... Not kind of. They do. They definitely fit with the era. This is her how you like that trading card. And her how you like that cash bee. And now for the album. I'm missing one of her the album album photo cards. And one of her the album K-Town For You photo cards. But I do have these four. And then these two K-Town For You photo cards. And I think this one is my favorite Jisoo photo card of all time. This one and another one which I will show in a bit. And then these are the Target exclusive cards. And then my little non-album page for Jisoo. This is my other favorite Jisoo photo card of all time. This is from the Summer Diary in Hawaii. And it is so freaking cute. I love this photo card so much. And then these are from the Summer Diary in Seoul. These are the 2021 Seasons Greeting K-Town Free pre-order. And then the Seasons the 2021 Seasons Greetings regular photo cards. And then once again, just some miscellaneous large inclusion. So these are some postcards from the album. These are the like mini photo or like the larger photo cards. I don't know what you'd call these, like big photo cards or small postcards from the album Vinyl. And then these are the Polaroids from the Summer Diary in Seoul. And then some of her postcards from the Summer Diary in Seoul. And then this is from the album Vinyl. And then this is from the 2021 Seasons Greetings. And then these are from the 2021 Seasons Greetings Kino. And then another thing from the 2021 Seasons Greetings. And then we move on to another one of my alt biases. So Jisoo and Irene are two of my alt biases, but their photo cards are quite expensive. So I just collect really album for them, especially Irene since 
she is definitely one of the hardest K-pop idols to collect, so I am taking her collection slowly, so I'm definitely not complete with it. So this is her ice cream photo, ice cream cake photo card, her the red photo card, and I am missing her the velvet photo card, unfortunately. Um, this is her Russian roulette photo card, and then I still need her rookie photo cards, and then her two red flavor photo cards, and I love this photo card so much. And then these are her the perfect velvet photo cards, her the perfect red velvet photo cards, and I still need these two summer magic cards, but I do have her summer magic limited edition clear card, and I have one of the two of her RVB photo cards. And now we move on to this page, and I have one out of the three of her day one photo cards, and then her day one ticket, and her day two ticket, and then one out of the three of her day two photo cards. And I believe these are both from the scrapbook versions, or like, not the scrapbook versions, like the non, like the photo book, more photo book version. I don't, that definitely didn't make sense. And then none of her finale photo cards, unfortunately, but hopefully I can find some of these soon. And then luckily I do have her monster photo card set complete and I'm so ready for their comeback. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I've been posting about it a lot on my Instagram story, which you can follow me below. It is just Icy Cheyenne. And then once again, some larger inclusions. So this, this is from her day two, like, package thing. And then these stickers. And then this, this is from Ravi Festival Finale. And then just some miscellaneous photo cards that I have for the other members. And oh my god, Joy Solo. These took forever to arrive, by the way. But I'm so happy I have them. And this photo card is so freaking stunning. And now we move on to, this is actually just my Isa collection. I no longer collect Zoom In, but yes. So for her, I collect her album photo cards and then her Make Star photo cards. So I do have her Statum set complete with her album photo cards and then Make Star 1 and 2. And then I have one of her So Bad photo cards on the way, but I'm still missing the other one and still need her So Bad Make Star card. And then her Statum postcard and then the group postcard from So Bad. And now this is my latest collection. I'm actually just revealing this for the first time. It wasn't even in my video from a few days ago, but I am starting to collect Chowan from Lightsome. I think I also want to collect Sangha, but for now I'm just going to collect Chowan. So I've decided to collect her album photo cards along with her MMT and Make Star photo cards. So, so far I only have her Make Star one hollow only way, but hopefully I can pick up the other ones soon. And now we move on to my Yeonjun collection. So I actually only collect album photo cards for Yeonjun now and kind of dropped my select non-album part of it, but do still have a few. So I have one of the two of his Dream Chapter Star photo cards, and then this is his Dream Chapter Magic like ID pad thing, and then his larger photo card from the Dream Chapter Magic, and then one of the two of his Eternity photo cards, and then his Eternity clear card. And now we move on to the nine pocket album photo cards. So I have this page split with Dream Chapter Magic and Blue Hour. So I have his Blue Hour photo cards here and I still need to find his Dream Chapter Magic cards. And then this is my Chaos Chapter Freeze page. So I put similar to my Jisoo page, Jisoo collection where I have like the photo cards that match the era with the album photo cards. So this is his Dream his Chaos Chapter Freeze Apple Music pre-order. And then this is actually one of his Lucky Draws and I'm so happy to have this. This is from Power Station. And then I do have this photo card from the World version, but still need the other three. And then these are just two miscellaneous non-album cards I have. This is from Still Dreaming and this is from the 2021 Seasons Greetings. And then just some extra photo cards that I have that I just couldn't give up. Um, from my Subin and Hunan Kai collections because I did used to collect Subin and Hunan Kai. And then just some extra larger inclusions. And then my final collection in this video and in my binder is my Jake collection. So I do collect most non albums. The only exceptions are one um, Lucky Draw photo card per era moving forward from Border Carnival. So not one for Border Day One. And then no broadcasts. And as for pre orders, only Weavers. So this is Border Day 1, and I'm just missing two from the Dusk version. And then Border Carnival, and I'm just missing one from the Dawn version. Down version, not Dawn version. Oh my goodness. And then my not album page. 
Okay, so my phone ran out of storage, which has definitely become a reoccurring theme, unfortunately. But here is my Jake Not Album collection. So this is his pre-debut neck pillow photo card. I am missing the Weavers pre-order. This is his light stick photo card. Um, I'm missing his uniform photo card. This is his 2021 season's greeting card. And then unfortunately I'm missing his season's greetings ID. And then I have one of the two N-Connect Polaroids. And then this is his N-Connect selfie. And I do have his N-Connect training card set complete, which is super exciting. And then his photo cards from the deco package. So the two Polaroids and then the concept cards. But I am missing the random selfie photo card. And then this is the Lucky Jaw I decided to collect for this era. This is from M2U. And I really, really like this photo card. This is definitely one of my favorites. And then I do have the two Hive Insight photo cards on the way. Although I don't know if they fit in that in pocket, but I put them here anyway. And then this is his Fever selfie photo card and then the Fever unit. And oh my god, I'm so happy I found this photo card for the price that I did. And then, once again, just some miscellaneous larger inclusions. So these are the postcards from day one. And then Sungoon and Sunu are my bias lines, so I have their postcards on the backs. And then the tickets from Border Carnival. And then this is his N-Connect postcard. And then his deco package photo strip and stickers. And then just some random album photo cards that I have for the other members. But that is everything, and that is actually everything for this video. That is my entire photo card collection. So I'm really excited to do another one of these in six months and then look back on this one and see how my collection has changed or grown or downsized or whatever may have happened or may happen in the next six months or so. But yes, that is all for this video. Thank you so, so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!